Shares have actually been gaining a bit this morning, um, up some 7% right now. We first brought you this news around 9 a.m. this morning. Um, a new deal, a carriage deal with Charter, a year earlier than was necessary. Their current deal ex uh, didn't expire for roughly another year. But both parties, um, in terms of at least having their own reasons for pursuing a deal early um, for Warner Brothers, the key to this deal, of course, is showing the marketplace, which has had uh, significant doubts about its ability to get paid roughly the same amount for TNT, which, as we detailed many times, is likely not to have the NBA, although they are litigating to change that outcome. They're getting, uh, in the New Deal, a uh, flat payment, is my understanding. So that they see as a real positive. They had reasons to want to go in, show the marketplace, show investors, in fact, that there is still value for their cable networks, not just TNT, which is flat, but the others, which are all going to be up under this New Deal. For Charter, which operates, of course, under the Spectrum brand, both in broadband and wireless, they've been pursuing a strategy in which they can offer their cable customers as many direct-to-consumer ad-supported uh, streamers as possible. And so they're getting a big one with this. That is Max. Uh, and in fact, if you are uh, the Spectrum under the Spectrum TV Select package, you're going to receive ad-supported Max subscriptions. And Spectrum is saying in a press release that came out about an hour and a half ago or so that this adds about 60 bucks a month of value to you. Because if you were to go into the marketplace, pay the retail price, for all of the different networks now that they have available, I should say the direct-to-consumer streamers, Max, Discovery+, Plus, Disney, ESPN, Paramount+, Plus. well, that's what you get. Um, and so that helps them. Of course, they're paying a wholesale price to be able to deliver that ad-supported. They also, as part of the deal uh, as well, will be um, marketing ad-free Max to their broadband subscribers. Uh, and so there's generally at least a hope on both sides that it's going to be seen as a positive so far, being taken uh, as a positive. As our viewers well know, linear cable networks are in a significant, significant decline, even more so than even the most pessimistic forecast might have believed just a few years ago. And both companies trying to arrest that and show the marketplace, hey, you know what, we can still get paid. There's still value there. Obviously, TNT, a very important part of that as well for Warner Brothers Discovery. Uh, which, again, up uh, about 7% so far this morning. I should point out Zaslav, that is the CEO of Warner Brothers Discovery, will be presenting at that same conference we were just quoting from Jensen Wong yesterday, Communicopia. It's about 1 o'clock or so Eastern time. Also expected to say some positive things about Max subscriptions, which were up about 3.5 million last quarter, but are tracking, I'm told, at least above 6 million in terms of additions for Max as it becomes more of a global provider. And then we mentioned the discounts uh, for Discovery Plus and Disney Plus uh, in the 9 a.m. hour. Does that mean we're in the middle of a, a subscriber push? It does. It does feel that way, certainly. And I guess prices, obviously, they've all been moving price up significantly and, and frankly, over time, dramatically. I mean, you want to talk about inflation. All these things were priced at a level that could never get to profitability. Uh, but the question, of course, becomes churn so much easier to just turn these things off on a monthly basis than it is to get out of your cable subscription, certainly, and have somebody come in and all the things that, and all the friction that goes along with it. So that continues to be a key concern here as we watch some of these services get at least to a level of profitability. That said, for Warner Brothers Discovery, it is still the linear cable networks that provide the vast amounts of the cash flow at the company, and they need that cash flow given the debt load that they are still sustaining. Is it, what, whatever, what's happening with Disney DirecTV? They're still in blackout. That's still a problem. Yeah, they are. And DirecTV is going back to that decision in the venue case where a preliminary injunction was issued. But also the judge had some things to say about how programmers bundle their networks that nobody wants with the networks they do. And she looked askance at that. It didn't have any, uh, 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 she didn't have any ability to stop the practice. Mm -hmm. But DirecTV is relying on some of the language from that decision as well to argue its case. So those users still don't have ESPN? No. During this uh, football no. season. Yep.